Hey everybody, welcome to Frugal Facts. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 kitchen tips to save your money. Make sure to watch until number 1 because it's one of the most amazing saving tips I've ever seen. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can help you with saving tips regularly. Now let's get straight into the video. Life happens in the kitchen. Do you reminisce about your kitchen days when mom would teach you how to bake? Or how you'd be doing your homework at the kitchen table as she made you a hot plate? Many memories are made in the kitchen from cooking your favorite meals to just hanging out with friends and catch up over a cup of coffee. It is also the place where the money is used regularly because food shopping has to happen at least once a week for most households. But the kitchen doesn't have to be such an expensive affair. You can make it a very affordable one by using some of the amazing hacks we've highlighted to save you time and money. Without further ado, here are 10 kitchen tips to save your money. Number 10. Do it yourself. A kitchen is one of the most important rooms in your entire house. That's where the magic happens. Well, most of the magic. This is also one of the places where you can apply most of your DIY skills. And if you didn't already know, DIYs save you a lot of money. You can find almost everything at a convenience store from instant potatoes to pre-diced vegetables. Usually, the pre-prepared foods are overpriced compared to whole foods. You can save money by buying them whole and preparing them from scratch. Making your staples is also another way of maximizing your savings. In addition to saving, things like pasta, sauces are loaded with chemicals and preservatives. Making your own ensures that they are healthy because you control what goes into them, hence preventing illnesses, which saves you money. Number 9. Shut off the heated dry cycle of your dishwasher. A dishwasher is every homeowner's or renter's godsend. Dishwashing is a household chore that is disliked by many. No one likes to finish their dinner and stand at the sink washing dishes. That said, dirty dishes in the sink do not only give you anxiety but also attract unsightly bugs such as cockroaches. But as dishwashers help you, you have to help you by helping them last longer. Turning off the heated dry cycle is one way to lengthen your dishwasher's lifespan. How is that? The heated drying forces hot air onto the dishes which speeds the drying process. This helps you take less time to finish your dishes, but it also gradually takes the life out of the machine. Regular use of the electric elements in your machine wears out the pumps and causes your dishwasher to lose its life expectancy. To avoid this, use the dishwasher for cleaning but allow your dishes to dry naturally as this saves your appliance and saving you money. Washing them at night allows you to leave them to dry on their own the whole night. Number 8. Use cloth napkins instead of paper towels. A six-set paper towel pack costs $5.98 at Walmart. A four-piece cloth napkin set costs $8.93. How many paper towels will you have consumed by the time you need to replace your cloth napkins? Need I say more? Okay, I'll bite. Cloth napkins, in addition to giving you value for your money, last longer. They are attractive on your table and produce less trash. Good quality napkins also don't produce fluff. Paper towels are messy and a nauseating sight when they come into contact with any liquid. Number 7. Keep hot foods away from the fridge. A refrigerator is one of the biggest power consumers in your household. Unplugging it also would mean a major food catastrophe, but there are ways to minimize the power usage while still keeping your food fresh. Closing your door immediately after you grab your item would be a good way to prevent cold air from escaping. The more the cold escapes the refrigerator, the more energy it will require to cool it again. Putting hot food in the refrigerator may have adverse effects on your food because salmonella may cause it to go bad, which hurts your gut. It also risks other perishables such as vegetables, eggs, and meats. Hot food also causes the refrigerator to work harder to cool the heat, which consumes a lot of energy. For these reasons, keep hot food away from your fridge and you'll save money. Number 6. Add fillers to meat. That mouth-watering piece of barbecue steak doesn't come cheap. 
Meat is an expensive diet, and although it is more affordable in the USA than in some other parts of the world, such as Hong Kong, whose meat prices are 61% higher than those of the rest of the world, that's not to say meat is cheap. Some still can't afford to include meat in their diet every day. Also, to save money, it is more advisable to add healthy fillers to your meat, such as breadcrumbs, oats, lentils, or beans. Be creative with the way you stretch your meat, so it can last for longer and save you from going meatless through the month while also saving you money. Few other ways that you can stretch meat include serving meat as a side dish rather than the main course, grinding the meat yourself, it helps you avoid buying overpriced meat, make the meat thinner or buy a whole chicken, Pre-cut pieces are big, hence not stretchable. Also, cutting your meat yourself gives you more to save for later. Let your excellent knife skills, or lack thereof, guide you into how you slice the meat. Number 5. Reuse Butter Wrappers Reusing butter wrappers may sound absurd, but if you want to save your money, listen to this. When you finish your butter, your reflex action is to step on the trash can foot pedal and toss the empty wrappers in, right? Huge mistake. You see, there is still butter left on the wrappers. Don't believe me? Feel the inside of the wrapper and your finger will become well greased. Just put your butter wrappers in a Ziploc bag and freeze them. There are many ways that butter wrappers can work for you. You can use it to saute veggies, oil your cake knife, grease your pan, smear light oil on your skillet. Heck, you can even use butter wrappers to brush on your pastry. So don't melt butter every time you want to use a small portion. You end up melting more, which may cause the one you're not using to go to waste. Number 4. Cover your avocado. Let's face it, you have had a love-hate relationship with avocado at some point in your life. Maybe you listen to too much of the myths that avocado fights for your waist's attention, but research has confirmed that it is a fad. In reality, according to PubMed, avocados help maintain body weight due to their nutrients and healthy fats. Avocado also complements almost all types of food. It's good on toast, burger, salad, smoothie, you name it. But with all of the fruit's awesome praise, it has one frustrating characteristic browning after cutting. This is because it starts oxidizing due to exposure to air. If you don't know how to store it, you'll be wasting money going back to the grocery store when you want to make a delicious avocado smoothie for your loved ones. But we come bearing gifts. The preservation method of avocado kind of gift. To prevent your avocado from browning, don't remove the seed. Removing the seed exposes the whole avocado to air, which causes it to brown. You can say the fruit is rusting if you want, but that will just leave a metallic taste in your mouth. Another way to preserve your avocado is by covering it. You can use an airtight container or use a cling film if you wish. Just be careful not to crush it. Crushed avocado has never looked good in polythene. Number 3. Unplug appliances when not in use. A kitchen has many appliances that need electricity to function. Items like toasters, microwave ovens, coffee makers, and rice cookers all need power. Some require a low amount of voltage, while others just zap up energy. Just like the refrigerator and the dishwasher, these kitchen appliances may cause you to require more power unit to keep them going. To keep your electricity bill from adding up, unplug all the appliances that are not in use. This conserves energy and saves your money. The ones that you can't turn off, such as refrigerators, make sure you're conserving as much power from them as you possibly can. For example, you can fill up the freezer but leave space in the fridge for air to circulate properly. This makes it consume less energy while chilling your foods. Number 2. Freeze your foods It becomes frustrating when you want to cook something only to remember that it is still a block of ice. But freezing most of your food is the best way to save money because frozen foods preserve nutrients and stay fresher for longer. You can also pre-cook foods like lentils and beans and freeze them. 
and you only have to remember to thaw them ahead of cooking time to prevent the frustrations of having to thaw them at the time of cooking. A freezing tip you should follow to keep your food fresh is you should freeze your foods when they are still at the peak of freshness rather than at the end. This maintains the food quality and it emerges tasting even better. Chill freshly cooked food before freezing it to preserve taste. This way your food will stay fresh and you won't feel pressed to go back to the grocery store to restock, hence saving you some cash. Number 1. Use a pump for your dish soap. When it comes to washing dishes, we all have our preferences. Some people prefer soaking their dishes in the sink before cleaning. Others prefer to clean right away. Whatever their preference is, one ingredient is a necessity. Dish soap. Some liquid soaps are thick while others are light. Whatever works for you is fine, but you probably squeeze too much soap on a sponge while washing, which causes you to rinse dishes for longer, hence wasting water and soap. To prevent wasting these two essentials, you can buy a soap pump and put your detergent in it. This way, you will be able to control how much dish soap you use, which determines how much water you rinse with. Your soap lasts longer and the water bill doesn't give you an anxiety attack. So what did you think about this video? We'd love to hear your opinions. What about you? What kitchen tricks do you have up your sleeve? Please leave a comment down below and let us know. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of saving tips and much more. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos of saving money tips and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.